Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick video to demonstrate and show you the pin configuration that I got to work with my HP Elite 8200 ATX cable adapter. This is the adapter that I bought and I bought it from Amazon and you'll see here that the pin configuration is pin 1 is black, pin 2 is red, pin 3 is yellow and pin 4 is green and that in fact does not actually work. I have referenced many diagrams online and lots of, lots of videos and I actually realized that the ATX adapter itself has a different pin configuration often for the six pin cable. Um, in my case the green and the yellow were in a different position but this is the actual pin configuration that I got to work. So if your pin configuration is the same as that then this will work. This is the diagram that I was referencing and the power underscore OK in my case was red and the PS underscore on, in my case, was black. So the green and the yellow were COM ports, which were in a slightly different position that you can see labeled and cabled on this. Mine were in fact moved up one slot. But as long as you have this configuration, then you should be able to work. Now I'm gonna to attempt to try and install this for you into my uh, HP 8200 with the aftermarket Corsair supply. Actually, it's a Cooler Master in this case. So I apologize about the terrible camera angles. I will do a, uh, a focus in on this to show you the actual final installed config. So you'll see there that it's in that manner. Now you're going to have to bear with me as I've had several goes at doing this video and plugging in this power supply cable one handed is not easy. Alright, so just to confirm that is the pin configuration. I'm going to hit the power supply on and you'll notice the activity light comes on. And when you come around to the power, instead of pressing the button and it beeping four times and being red, what you should see is the light go green and stay green. And you come up to your monitor and you'll see that it powers on. And you need to press F1 to boot, but after that, you're good to go. So just confirming, in my case, for the pin configuration on the ATX adapter, this was the pin configuration that worked for me. Good luck, guys.